<laughs> a debate has a debate has kicked <laughs> off at uh, at the desk already because we've been joined by Reverend Kate Buckley, obviously vicar from Gogglebox, <laughs> who we love and enjoy morning. watching you commenting on telly. Uh, Ranvi just uh, uh, asked a very pertinent question. No, only because my son was a train in the nativity. Now my history isn't brilliant, and neither is my religious knowledge. I don't think there were trains in Bethlehem, were there, Reverend? I've, yeah, not that I know of. Yeah. I've been to Bethlehem, I didn't see any trains. But, <laughs> but Kate, does that matter? Does no, that of matter, course but... it doesn't. I mean, my daughter was Gok 1 in the Nativity Play <laughs> for years ago. So I was what? Gok 1? <laughs> I have no idea. Now, what? he could well have been there, to yeah, be honest. Exactly. Yeah. He gets Mary everywhere. Mary was beautifully dressed, wasn't <laughs> she? <laughs> and he could have rustled up nice to keep everyone happy. Yeah. I often for feel the... sorry for the schools, because, you know, they've got so many children to find a part for, and, of course, as parents, we're terrible, because we're going, well, I was never Mary, so I want to be Mary. So but, uh, but how got Quan? I can't wait to tell him he'd be delighted. <laughs> I, I mean, what well, we do in our church with uh, our nativities, we have a scratch nativity. And so we say, you know, you can just come as whatever you want, really. So sometimes we have like 17 Marys and 300 Josephs, but not so an exaggeration. Amazing. But yeah, we just let the kids dress up as whatever they want and tell the story that way. So you're here, you obviously have a very clear idea of what Christmas is about for you mm. and, um, and for everyone, really. Does it, do you mind the fact that the talk generally in most households is, heck, I haven't got the Brussels, or, you know, what am I going to get Uncle Joe? And then kids asking for bigger and bigger presents. Does that worry you? No, it doesn't worry me because it's the same conversation that I have in my house. It's the same chat that I have. But at the heart of it, in the middle of, you know, the tree and the presents and the tinsel and all the stuff that we've got too, we have a nativity scene, a little crib scene that oh, just lovely. reminds us that what, what it's about. But at the moment, Jesus is hiding in the fruit bowl because he obviously he's not born yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> put in on Christmas Come out of a banana. <laughs> on Christmas Christmas the morning morning. So that, must, that must be quite an occasion if you actually have a birth happening and everything. Uh, this, this survey, though, the YouGov survey, 80% mm. of people in the UK believe that Christmas is not actually about celebrating the birth of Jesus. Is that worrying for you, Kate? It, it doesn't worry me. I think, I think what's happened in our nation is that uh, perhaps people uh, don't consider themselves religious anymore. And certainly I've got friends who have a faith, would describe themselves as a person of faith or spiritual, but wouldn't necessarily subscribe to a certain religion. But I don't think England's lost its faith. I think perhaps we're not prepared to sit in cold buildings and be bored anymore. Um, and that might be something to do with it. And so, so it's up to the church yeah, okay. to meet people where they are and not expect to just open the doors and people to come in, but for us to go out and serve our communities. Are you are you doing a service this Christmas? Well, it's my first Christmas off Whoa. in eight <gasps> years. On. I know, right? <laughs> how, 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 how? 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 Sure, I'm, I'm, I'm asking the, the same, same question. Now, I'm taking a little bit of a sabbatical to do some writing at the moment, so my kids okay. have got me at home for the first time in okay. eight years. Will you actually go to church to remember yeah. the congregation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're going to go to Midnight Mass and uh, a colleague who, who's got a lot of churches asked me to do some cover for him. Yeah. And um, my husband said, no, no, we're going to go to the pub and then go to Midnight Mass <laughs> like normal people do. Oh, <laughs> so that's nice. what we're going to do. So oh, you can't, really it's not excited. like you get a rotor from the big man who says, no, you've done your eight <laughs> years, you've got a, it's, you're taking your... I've got, I've got a little bit of break. Ask, will, you, will you miss it, though? Will you miss that, that doing the, the sermon on Christmas Day? Well, actually, the sermon on Christmas Day is the easiest gig of the year. It really is, because everyone's there for, to be, for good reasons, to be happy, to enjoy themselves. Yeah. You know, that's the message of Christmas, is that it's about people coming together. And I think sometimes people expect that when they get to church, we're going to ask them a list of questions or have a register and go, why haven't you been all year? But it's not like that. It's mm. a place of welcome and hospitality, and everyone's welcome to come, oh, wherever to they church. are on the faith story. Mm -hmm.